can do something. But I can do something. And what I can do, what I can do, I ought to do. I ought to do. And what I ought to do, what I ought to do, I will do. I will do. Powerful words of affirmation open the Empowerment Summit, hosted by the Office of Black Male Advancement, OBMA. Friday's gathering marked the first summit for the office, created in February 2022. OBMA Executive Director and Roxbury native Frank Farrell wants to eliminate the obstacles that have held black men back in the city. There are a lot of, you know, social economic, you know, barriers that, you know, black men and boys face. Um, even, you know, just trying to get to a level playing field, um, you know, on a day-to-day -day in their lives, um, you know, generational inequities. And that's why we're focusing on uh, through the Office of Black Male Advancement, changing the narrative and ensuring that we're creating pathways and opportunities for generational uh, pathways to success and, and opportunity. The day of conversation, renewing Boston's commitment to black men and boys, stressed entrepreneurship and home ownership as means to improvement. Yet leaders are keenly aware of what black men face on a daily basis. So when we're talking about black students and our black children, they are oftentimes more than their white counterparts born into disadvantageous situations, whether it is poverty, whether they're victims of um, classism, um, racism, uh, the, the conditions that we set for our kids to thrive, especially black children, are miles behind their white counterparts because of the lack of generational wealth, the lack of property, the laws and policies that are designed historically to keep black children from reading, from having access to education, access to bank accounts, access to land. And now we are seeing the fallout and all of a sudden people are acting like it's new when it's historically been this way for a very long time. Data from the 2023 State of Black Males in Boston report show the stakes are high. Black men are the only racial group to experience homicide as a top five cause of death, have the lowest rate of high school graduation, and over 60 percent make less than $50,000 a year. Leaders agree that engaging black boys in their formative school years is key. One of the things we learn is our boys don't understand careers. And so part of what we need is what is the career that you want to be, right? Because if, if you can't see it, you can't be it. And so part of what we have to do, all of us in every city, is to show career early. Show the translatable skills early. Show why you want to focus on an aspirational goal in career, because school is the pathway to career pathway. And if we don't have our boys in school, we don't have our boys in a career pathway. What I'll say very quickly is Dr. Jawanza Kanjufu published a book in the early 80s that talked about the destruction of little black boys. And that begins as early as third grade. So there's seminal research that focuses on that. And if we don't understand the emphasis that we need to put on these young black boys as early as third grade, it already puts them in a trajectory that denies them the same opportunities as others uh, within society. The Office of Black Male Advancement believes equitable access to opportunity for black men transforms not only their lives, but Boston's black community. It's a dream OBMA is making a reality, one black boy at a time.